Dakota, thank you. In October, the Kentucky Supreme Court decided that county jails cannot charge inmate fees unless ordered to do by a judge, but many still are. In tonight's WDRB Sunday edition, Travis Ragsdale and Jason Riley examine how some jails haven't changed a thing. Since 2000, county jails in Kentucky have had an automatic revenue generator, jail fees. Anytime someone was booked into a county jail, the jailer could charge them a booking fee and daily fee, and they could keep it, even if the person was not guilty or the charges were dropped. That was until October. Only the sentencing court is vested with the authority to order payment of fees associated with incarceration of a prisoner in a county jail. That was the order of the Kentucky Supreme Court. Greg Belsley, an attorney who sued over the fee issue, thought the fight was over. The Supreme Court said only a judge could order the fees after a person was convicted. But WDRB has found that many county jails are continuing the practice months after this ruling. When this came out on October 28th, when people came in on October 29, it should have been a new way of doing business. The Kentucky Jailers Association said it asked lawyers for clarification on what the ruling means. But in the meantime, many jailers have continued collecting fees without a judge's order. In fact, at least one jail, the Big Sandy Regional Center, which holds inmates for Johnson, Lawrence, McGoffin, and Martin counties, told WDRB it hadn't even heard of the ruling. I don't particularly care how they find it out. It's the law. Louisville Metro Corrections has charged the fees for years. Director Dwayne Clark said in an interview last week that practice has now changed. Metro Corrections made a decision to uh, stop booking, to stop charging fees. Um, we made that decision uh, this week, and it may take a few days for our automated jail system to quit assessing that fee. That decision came after WDRB began questioning the jail about why it was still imposing the fees. Meanwhile, Belsley believes many lawsuits will be filed by inmates charged the fees since October without a judge's order. The jails can't do that. You can't just take money from somebody and just keep it indefinitely. Travis Ragsdale, WDRB News. And right now at WDRB.com, Jason Riley explains the case years in the making that ended with the Supreme Court ruling.